Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me Vivs from Slidenote here. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So it's time to take a look at how we can use threads in our applications to do something or the other. Today I'm gonna work out a simple example that downloads images from the internet using plain threads. No async task, no handlers, no loaders. So if you see right now, this is the layout which I have in mind and here on the left side that you see is the live uh, preview from my device on installed currently. So there's the edit text over here. If I select one of the items, let's say image 1, then that appears, the URL appears right here inside the edit text. And then my plan is to hit download image over here and then the progress bar will start showing exactly what is going on. If I say image 2 over here, then the URL changes over here at the top. So in other words, I have a list view at the bottom that contains different images with different URLs. The appropriate images URL is shown here to the user just as an indication and then the user hits download image and then there's the progress bar over here that will remain visible only for the duration while which the image is being downloaded. And we're gonna do this completely using threads and I'm gonna build everything from scratch in front of your very eyes here on YouTube on SlideNerd. So if you see the layout, there's nothing great like I said there's our edit text that contains the URL there's the button which is download image there's a linear layout now this complete linear layout represents a section inside which there's a text view that contains the message which says loading and there's a progress bar which currently shows indeterminate progress that we have while the image is being downloaded and ultimately there's the list view over here and as you guys notice there is already an Android entries attribute here that points to something which is basically an array containing URLs so let me show you what that array looks like res go to values go to strings there you go that's my image URL so I have one two three four five six images over here so my job is to download these six images, I mean one of these images when the user clicks on one of them using threads. Now let's go and take a look at the main activity. There's nothing great. There's just edit text, list view again, the string I brought over here, list of images. Progress bar is over here and there's the linear layout which is the loading section that we have. Now initially we want this linear layout to be invisible. Now I know what you guys are thinking, you're saying there's a progress dialog. Why don't you use that? The reason is progress dialog is very intrusive. While the user is looking at the progress dialog, he or she cannot do anything else. And I don't like that. So I prefer the other approach where I have a progress bar that is being shown as part of the layout just for the duration of the download. So I'm going to say visibility equals to gone currently. That means this loading section is invisible initially. But when the user is downloading, this section becomes visible for that time and then again it disappears like that. So if you go to the main activity, we have initialized all the views over here that we have and there's of course nothing great just the method over here download image go to activity underscore main dot xml let's take a look the button which has an on click attribute that calls the method download image so every time you click on the button this method download image is gonna be called and the code inside this is gonna be run and of course there's a list view over here which has its on item click listener set so whenever the user selects an item from the list view on item click will be executed the edit text data will be fetched and that will be just set over there list of images of arg2 which is nothing but the array list of images that we had that contains all these images the appropriate image URL will be set inside the edit text over here that is what is happening basically so this is just setup so let's get started try to face the different issues try to see what are the different problems we encounter and how we will slowly and steadily build something very complex with just nothing but threads let's go so now that the setup is clear to you guys it's time we dive into the program and we started taking a look at how we are going to use threads to download this image using these different URLs and this list view and other stuff so in the next video let's further continue this app and discuss how and what are the different issues that we are going to face and how we are going to resolve them. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and support us in any way you can. Thank you very much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.